And that was, of course, our national anthem. So now let's take a look at the starting lineup for your Chicago Dogs, brought to you by Vienna Beef. Batting leadoff and playing designated hitter today is Blake Alamond. He has been all over the diamond so far uh, in this series. Today he is a designated hitter in the number two hole, playing second base, Edwin Arroyo. Batting third and playing third is Joey Tradoslovich. Batting cleanup over at first, KC Hobson. In the number five hole, your shortstop, Tyler Ladendorf. Batting sixth in left field, Victor Roach. In the seven hole, your center fielder, Michael Kraus. Batting eighth and playing right field, Tony Roselli. And batting ninth and behind the plate is Ryan Haug. That is your defense behind starting pitcher Thomas Dormany. Again, Dormany on the year has made one start, give up three runs in seven innings of work. And folks, before here comes the offering from Beggs. And that one's driven out to right center field. Patterson is back. It's going to be over his head, up against the wall. In comes Arroyo. Tradoslovich makes his way over to third. Hobson coasts into second with a double. And the Dogs have taken an early 1-0 lead on an RBI double off the bat of Casey Hobson. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Hobson found the pitch he wanted. It was low, and he drove that one out into right center field. It split the defenders, went all the way to the wall. Arroyo trotted home. Tradoslovich made his way over to third, and the Dogs lead it 1-0. We'll do it again. Payoff pitch. Dormany to Pena. Grounded up the middle. Nice play by Arroyo. Throws it across his body. Hobson's there for the out. Beautiful play by Edwin Arroyo. Ranging far to his left to make that catch behind second base. And throws out Pena. We are done with one. We are tied at one. Here in Fargo, you're listening to Chicago Dogs Baseball on the Dogs Radio Network. Powered by Impact Network. Holds the bat towards the pitcher. Here comes the 1-1 pitch, and this one's hit out to left field, and that one's going to get down for a base hit. Hobson is going to be waved in. Here comes the throw. Hobson's going to beat it, and the Dogs have taken a 2-1 lead on the RBI single by center fielder Michael Krause, who continues his hot hitting here in Fargo. Good. Here comes the first pitch to Arroyo. Swung on and hit out to left center field. The left fielder prime is there. There, and it gets over his head. Alamond around second, hits third. He's going to be waved in. Here comes the relay throw. It's cut off. Alamond scores all the way from first on the RBI double by Edwin Arroyo, and the Dogs have extended their lead to 3-1. to one. That ball just kept carrying. It looked like Prime had a beat on it, and then all of a sudden, before you knew it, it was over his head. I thought it looked for sure at first like he was going to get to that one, but Blake Alamond hustled around the bases and came in to score the Dogs' third run of the game, and the Dogs are up now 3-1 here, and he hits this one way out to right field, back on the track, at the wall. That one is gone. Joey Turdock hits a towering fly ball over the right field wall. And the Dogs have extended their lead to 5-1 here in the fourth inning. Pull slightly, outfield the pull slightly. That pitch is drilled out to left field. Back goes Prime. Prime is at the wall. And it's off his glove. One run is in. Two runs are in. Around third comes Hobson. He will score. And Ladendorf clears the bases with a two-out double. That ball was about as close as you could get to being a grand slam as Ladendorf hits that first pitch back to left. Prime goes back for it. And I think Prime actually kept it in the ballpark as it went off his glove and bounced back in. Either way, a three-run double off the bat of Tyler Ladendorf has busted this one wide open. The Dogs now lead it 8-1. to one. First pitch is hit well out to left center field. That one's going to get down. It's going to get up against the wall. Kraus is going to have to chase it. Metzger in to score. Hare rounds third. He's going to come in to score. Here comes the throw to the plate. He's going to be safe. And that's a two-run double off the bat of Carell Prime. And the fargo Moorhead Redhawks are not dead yet. They're climbing back into this one a bit as it's now 8-3. to three. Batter discrepancy here. It's got to feel like Hare's getting pitched from uphill. That ball is grounded back to the pitcher. Choplik has it. Bow bobbles it, throws it to first in time to get Hare to retire the side, and that will end the game. Nice job by Adam Choplik to stay with that, keep it, make an accurate throw over to first, and get Hare for the out. So that will do it. Game three here in Fargo goes to the Dogs as Chicago wins this one 8-3. We will be back with the Chicago Dogs postgame show right after this. 
brought to you by Impact Networking. 